Hey guys, welcome back to the Lavelli Kitchen. Today's recipe is an awesome spiced chickpea crepe. It's vegan, nut-free, gluten-free, and packed full of protein. Perfect for eating with your favorite curries or using as a wrap for lunch. This one is super quick and easy to whip up in the Vibe Blender, so let's get into it. For this recipe, you'll need one cup of chickpea flour, which you can find at the stores pretty easily, but you can actually make your own chickpea flour using dried chickpeas in the Vibe Blender or Nut Mode. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. To get one cup of chickpea flour, you'll need about three quarters of a cup of dried chickpeas. Mm -hmm. Then go straight into the blender jug. Just make sure it's really dry, otherwise it'll turn into a paste. That just took about 40 seconds on nut mode to turn our dried chickpeas into a really nice fine flour. So now we've got our chickpea flour, we can start making our batter by putting all of the ingredients straight into the blender jug. We'll blend it up on smoothie mode and then we'll get cooking. We'll start with one cup of water, one clove of garlic, and then in with our one cup of chickpea flour, half a teaspoon of cumin powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of chili powder, and finally, just a bit of salt. So blend this one up on smoothie mode. It's only gonna take around 30 seconds. Let the batter rest for around 15 minutes just on the bench. And in the meantime, I'm gonna get some garnishes ready. To add a little bit more flavor to our chickpea crepes, I'm going to chop up some fresh coriander and red onion. I've also got some cumin seeds. You could just have these plain if you like. I'm going to add my toppings as I cook the crepes. You could also use things like potatoes or leftover veggies, other herbs and spices. There's so many ways that you can load these up. So we'll start cooking our crepes now by heating about a teaspoon of ghee up in a pan on low to medium heat. If you wanted a vegan option, then coconut oil would work really well as well. So pour a little bit of batter straight into the middle of the pan, pick it up quickly and give it a swirl around to push the batter out to the edges. If it's too thick, let it down with a little bit of water. It might take a few times to get it right. Go ahead and add your toppings straight away and after a couple of minutes, once it's nice and crisp around the outside, you can quickly flip it over. It'll take another minute or so to finish up. These have turned out really nicely. Today I've just loaded mine up with some spiced potatoes and peas and a simple mint yogurt dressing. Give this one a go at home and let us know how you use them in the comments below. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button below and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Otherwise, we'll see you next week for another Lavelli Life recipe.